Welcome for another exciting lesson and here we have a question that requires us to determine the theoretical market price per share and also the market value of a right. Now this is what the question states. Let us go through the question and be able to condense each and every particular item in the question. So TNT Limited has a paid up share capital of 1.2 million shares of 20 each. The current market price per share is 36 shillings. The company has no loan capital. Maintainable earnings before tax are focused at 4.8 million. And then we are told that the company's effective tax rate is 40%. The company requires to raise a further 15 million in order to achieve additional earnings of 2.2 million per annum and proposes doing this by means of rights issue. Now, it's supposed to be much, uh, it's supposed to be clear to you that we are not going to use every detail that have been given here. You're supposed to know what actually this question requires. And from the close examination, this is an existing company that wants to raise additional capital in for its financial operations. And one of the means that is going to do so is by rights issue. So I want us to begin from there. Now basically when you talk about rights issue, a company using the rights issue to raise additional capital, we are referring to a method of raising ordinary share capital of a particular company by giving privileges to the existing shareholders to subscribe to the shares at a price below. To subscribe to the shares at a price below the current market price per share. So the existing shareholders subscribe the shares at a, a lower price than the, 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 the existing current market price per, per shares. And this is just a way, the objective of the company doing this, the reason why they're allowed to, to subscribe at a low price is because the company wants to achieve what is known as full subscription. That could be one reason. Two, the company simply wants to maintain. It wants to maintain its shareholders. In other words, it does not want to dilute the shareholding capacity for its existing shareholders. Now, when you talk about right issue that is below the current market price, of course we have the right issue. You're going to have the rights issue. Right issue. You find that these shares are already trading and the period before, the period before, the value of the shares the value of the shares before the right issue is normally referred to as calm rights. Calm right. That is the value of these shares before the right issue. And thereafter, this value of shares before after the right issue is referred to as X right. So this question requires us to determine the theoretical market price per share. In other words, we are going to determine the x right price. And we find that we are also required to determine the market value of a right. So actually, we are going to see what is the value of a right that every or any particular shareholder owes exercising in this particular shareholding capacity. In other words, we are going to get the difference between calm rights, that is the difference between the value between calm rights until the X right is exercised. This one will give us what is known as the market value of 
right. Of course, we are going to get the curve right in this question. Bilas the x right of that particular question. Now, I want us to begin by the questions and look at these. We are told that TLT Limited has a paid up share capital of 1.2 million shares. Paid up capital means that this company had an authorized share capital above 1.8, 1.2. And out of that, those who paid was totally to 1.2 share. That's what it means. So the paid up capital is essentially a, a share capital. Ordinary share capital we are giving as 1.2. The current market price per share is 36 shillings. Okay. The current market price for share is 36 shillings. Essentially, that is our calm right. Our calm right is 36 uh, shillings. Because that is the share before the rights issue. Remember, they are going to give a rights issue method when they want to raise this capital. Okay? Then, the, uh, the company has no loan capital. Made okay? earnings before tax are focused at 4.8 million. This figure has no significant effect to this question. The company's effective tax rate is 40%. Again, there's no significant uh, effect for that particular question. The company requires to raise a further 15, uh, 15 million. So this is actually what the company requires to raise, 15 million in order to achieve analysis of these 2.2 million. So we are supposed to concentrate on the value that the company requires to raise by what is known as the rights issue. But now we are told here, when the price is 32 shillings per share, find the theoretical market price. So we are supposed to look at the number of new shares to issue, okay? So, by getting number of new shares to issue, we are supposed to divide the value that is supposed to be issued in this case is 15 million, okay? Divide by the price per share, which is 32. 32, we get a value of, uh, we can have a value of 15 divided by 32, 32, we get 0 0.46875 shares. These are the number of shares that the company uh, uh, the new share which is supposed to be issued to the existing shareholders by rights issue. But now we get the total market price of shares. Okay, Total market price per share which is essentially is supposed to be the value that you have been given here supposed to be the value before the rights issue and the value after the rights issue. The value of the new shares which is supposed to be share capital of 1.2 million. The current market price per share is 36. So we are supposed to get the value of the shares in the market. We are not going to use 20%. So we are supposed to have 36 supposed to be 1.2 times 36 we get a value of 1.2 times 36 we get 43.2 million then of course we have something to do with the value of the new shares and the new shares which is actually new shares we found that to be 0 
four six eight seven five times the price per share which is supposed to be issued is 32 so it's supposed to be times 32 we get a value of 0.46875 times 32 we get 15 so the value of the new shares is 15 million so the value of the existing shares which is supposed the value of the existing shares which was paid up and the value of the new shares is 15 so we add the 2 when we add this supposed to be 2858 so 58.2 is supposed to be the total market price of the shares that are trading, okay? We are supposed to divide it with the value of or the, the value of the number of shares in this particular market. Remember we initially had initially we had paid up capital number of shares so total number of shares is supposed to be 1.2 which was paid up the paid up uh, shares capital of 1.2 million plus the new number of new shares to be issued plus 0 0.46 plus 0 0.46875 that is the number of shares which are already existing in this particular company and we get a value of so 1.2 uh, 1.2 plus 0 0.46875 we get a value of 1.66875 shares this one reflects the number of shares in the market so we divide the market price per share in the, in the market so we divide by this one to get actually the value of x right so to, to get the x right of market price per share we are supposed to divide the market price per share which is 58.2 divided by 1.66 875 and we get a value of value of <coughs> we get a value of so 58.2 divided by 1.66875 we get a value of 34 0.876 uh, remember that we said we are now supposed to get the value of rights the value of rights the value of rights that were exercised throughout this period before rights issue and after right issue so the market value of right is supposed to be the difference between come rights and x rights and our come rights was 36 shillings per share so it's supposed to be come right come right minus x rights so we have our, our come right was 36.0 minus x right which is 34 8 rounded off and we have a value so 36 minus the answer is supposed to be 1.2 1.12 uh, shillings so this is the value of the right that was exercised by this particular uh, shareholders as per the rights issue please don't forget to subscribe if you find this video helpful